Hey guys, it's me, Stephanie Ann, and I am a photographer, videographer, and fashion designer. Just so you know, this video was late because I've been all over the place. This was supposed to be posted last Friday, but it's posted today on a Tuesday. That's okay. This video that I'm about to show you was made back in November of 2021, right after I had my son, and obviously it's now 2023, so the video is pretty late. I just wanted to make this intro so that anyone who's coming in here watching this knows who I am. Fashion design is very new for me. I actually am changing this channel to solely focus on that with a little bit of other things here and there. The next set of videos that I'm gonna put up, the previous being my story in fashion design, there's five episodes if you want to watch that and see how I got started. But this next set of videos is gonna be me catching up with all these older projects starting at November of 2021 and going through 2022 and then into 2023. I should be able to get caught up pretty soon and be a little bit more current. Until then, I hope you enjoyed these older videos of projects I worked on to see how I learned and some things I did in the beginning. I'm sharing them anyway I'm throwing them out there but if you want to see my current stuff be sure to check out my Instagram or my Facebook or my TikTok or even my shorts on here and those links will be down below this week's video on Friday will still hopefully be scheduled for Friday so we get two videos this week if dressmaking is something that you love to see and watch be sure to hit subscribe because I'm gonna have a ton coming out especially in this next series of me getting caught up that's what I love if you love it too you're at the right place enjoy your stay Let's go back in time now to 2021. I can't get this tape to work. I literally, because I don't have those fashion lines, I literally just use an exacto knife. Can't seem to get it. Come on, done after I used it already. See? Ghetto, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. And it just rips. Kidding me. for my next dress and it's gonna have thick straps so we'll see how that goes this is kind of my idea of my, i'm not good at drawing so please ignore whatever the crap that is and also her arms look kind of buff but it is what it is so this is my idea as you could see like i just tried to get that bodice shape going on the dress form but i was thinking that there would be like a solid fabric on the outside and then on the inside it would be like a sheer fabric or something and then that's solid as well. And then the trim would be like some sort of lace or something cute, because I love trim, it's just my thing. I don't know if i do it anywhere else. And then the back of it would just be the solid color of the outside here and just pretty simple zipper. And then the trim would continue. And then I just have regular one to two inch straps. Here's a few fabrics I chose that I thought maybe I can use one of these for the idea. I'm kind of thinking like the outside should be a solid and the inside could even like, I actually really like these two together. I just feel like it's really pretty however this fabric is like super thick you can kind of just tell by looking at how stiff it is which is kind of cool in a way but i don't know if it's too stiff but it actually might make it look pretty cool. I'm kind of thinking maybe. This one though, like I love it so much for a different idea and I'm not sure. I kind of wonder, I should wait. I don't know, but like it's perfect with this color. And I kind of like envision the dress. This is the outside, thick and kind of stiff and like will maybe hold its shape to have like a flared skirt. And then this being, I like literally don't know what to do. I look so, oh my gosh, ever since I had the baby, I literally was bombarded with the worst acne I've had in a very long time anyway so another thing is i really also love this because i love gray and white and this is gray with white in it and i'm kind of thinking that with like a white or some sort of sheer material underneath could also be really pretty plus i have like a ton of this so i can actually make multiples of the dresses or i can use it for another dress and lastly you can't go wrong with a good polka dot right now i'm not a huge polka dot person myself but i got this at goodwill for 2.99 and it's almost two yards so it's a yard and three quarters and this one i got at goodwill for 4.99 for four yards this red that i really liked or i should say burgundy it was 2.99 and it comes with i thought it said 23 fourths it kind of looks like that 
but it says two and three fourths. So that's actually a really good amount. If I do this, I don't know, like I'm pretty sure I could probably find another bed sheet that looks like this if I happen to not have enough for the idea that I have with it and then just buy another floral and use that for the idea I have just because this one goes so perfectly with this one. Like these two are just, I don't know. If I use those two, then the outside layer would be a burgundy red and then on the inside you would see the floral instead of sheer and it doesn't have to be like flowy like the way i drew it it could kind of just be like a little more straight out or something pleated on the skirt i don't know these ideas were like a scratch idea because i kind of wanted to do something like with buttons i just really like where this is going and i want to try it so i actually just realized something i didn't even think about it it's just sitting here but like this fabric is another bed sheet which i had another dress idea for i realized it goes really well with this one too as much as i love this one more maybe i can use a piece of this one for underneath and it might still look really good why am i so picky like i think i'm just gonna stick with the burgundy i'm really curious but i also really like this one but i think i like the gray one so much i love burgundy and i love gray so i guess like i mean put them together and these are like literally i used that color those two colors literally use them for like everything on my business i actually really freaking love this and it like the fact that i got it so cheap makes me so proud i think that's what i'm gonna do though i'm going to make the outer layer and i decided i'm going with this one another way that you can be really cheap about learning how to sew and like not having to buy so much fabric to learn on but you, it costs so much is go to goodwill and find yourself literally the cheapest sheet you can find i don't know how much this one was because i had taken the tag off but i remember it was very cheap and it's huge and i just literally use this to practice on it's actually pretty thick but i mean any like white or nude colored one or whatever would probably be good if you want to be able to see through it you know while you're doing it i don't think i could see through this but yeah this is pretty much what i got so i'm gonna do a mock-up of the bodice with this kind we'll see how that goes <laughs> I draped, no, drafted. Oh, look, I didn't go to school for this. I did the thing where I made the pieces with the sheet that I told you. Hopefully it transfers well. You only need to do half. I mean, most people know this if they're learning to sew and you're doing this. Anyway, my dress form is kind of broken on the inside and I've yet to glue it and fix it because I don't really know how I'm going to do it, but so far it's okay. I have it on the smallest it goes because of the way this dress form is. When I expand it, sometimes it just, I don't know. So we're going to just go with this. As I make dresses i'm just gonna make them all the same size once i feel like i'm getting good at it i will start making dresses for people which is like my dream i really hope to do that and when i do then i will change the size for each person's request as long as i'm able that will be exciting to just be able to do a range of sizes but i need a dress form or something because it's very hard to do stuff like this i'll eventually probably even try to learn how to grade the patterns that i make after i do this i kind of just double check to make sure like it's all lining up uh, that looks good enough <laughs> and then i'm gonna take it off and i'm gonna transfer that and i'm gonna perfect it a little bit more onto pattern paper in my case i just use it's very similar to pattern paper to be honest but i have more of it see i don't know i found it at goodwill <laughs> your girl freaking loves goodwill I feel like i drew something already what the heck did i draw you know what i think i do remember this so yeah i have like a ton of this i'm set i'm golden and i freaking love goodwill because you never know what you're gonna find well i love thrifting in general like i'll go to literally any thrift store but since goodwill is more known a lot more people donate to it you get more stuff so we're going to take this off and put it on pattern paper I kind of forgot a crucial thing so i needed to add this in in case someone's following this to make one as well i'm putting this back up because i did not mark the nipple part so that it matches up on the patterns so i'm actually going to try to match all the lines up and everything and then i'm going to do the same with the center front piece i'm going to mark that on each one where they line up to make sure as i'm sewing that the peak of the bust like actually matches up don't forget to do that 
I did. Okay, so as you can see, I have all of the pieces that I drew from the dress form, and now I'm going to use the pattern papers and transfer it on over, and then that way I will have it all available. So I'm like putting the patterns on this paper now, but another thing I forgot to do while these pieces were on the dress form is to draw the grain lines, which is usually just up and down, however it lands, but a way to kind of guess if you forget like me, and this is how I do it. On the center back, I know that the back part where like a zipper or whatever would go like the back part is straight it's pretty obvious <laughs> so i put the grain line according to that line not according to that line because that one's slanted and then on this one i put the grain line according to this side seam because i know that that's up and down on the body as well so i would put the grain line according to this one same goes for this piece i would make the grain line oh sorry <laughs> same goes for this piece i would make the grain line according to this line and then the front piece the grain line would be according to the middle line so you find your three straight lines and then that that's one way if you do this particular type of um whatever you want to call it so hope that helps okay like i'm talking like I'm, I'm like oh yeah i know what i'm talking about like oh my gosh like totally like i'm i'm a professional no i'm not a professional i'm just gonna give you guys my tips on just how i do it just in case like it works for you but like if someone has a better idea a better way to do things i feel like we can get our little tidbits from all kinds of different seamstresses and stuff like that and i'm just learning as i go i don't mind sharing things i'm doing maybe in the future i'm gonna be like that was a stupid stupid way to do it like totally okay so now i have them all transferred to this paper and now next i'm going to add the seam allowance so that i'm able to know exactly where i'm cutting on my fabric so i will do a half an inch which is what i normally do add that to the sides and just like that all of them are made they're all cut out i also labeled it they're all out of order anyway i also made sure i put cut two for fabric and cut two for liner which i already know to do but you know just write it down and then the grain line i put it twice on this one because it's pretty big that is how it is that's one side of the body so this is the placement i decided to go with to not waste so much fabric so they're all very close together so we have all the pieces laid out that's how i'm gonna sew them i'm gonna sew all these seams together let's see how that goes can you show can you show your little beak so you eat anything not time Hi, Tiny. Hi. You watching TV? What you watching, Tiny? <laughs> you like this music? <laughs> You're so cute. You know how many, <laughs> you know how many people love you? Especially mommy. <laughs> So it's the next day and I managed to get the baby to be okay in the swing and I have the door open so I can hear him out there. I normally don't work or do much like this while I'm just with him and my husband's not here to like help watch him and stuff. But he's been napping longer in the day. I was like, I need to take advantage of this time. I was so anxious last night. I didn't want to go to bed when I started working on this because the idea in my head and like also this fabric is actually really fun to work with. I think because it's firm and kind of stiffish a little bit, but also kind of stretchy. I'm really enjoying working with it because normally I'm working with some sort of super delicate I don't know like I'm not advanced enough to like handle the delicate type of fabric but I keep doing it this is the first time I'm not doing it I really do actually really like this so we sewed this all together and now I'm gonna test it inside out because it kind of curves better since I haven't ironed any of the seams so we're gonna see if it works get it all situated I need pins crap they way over here okay it looks like it's like lining up pretty well. I think it looks good. I mean, I think it's fitting pretty well. One thing I will say I kind of messed up on is when I was talking about like buying a random big giant bed sheet or something and using that instead of muslin or something like that. I will say that particular sheet is a little stretchy and so when it came to stretching it around the body, I realized that like it could kind of change the pattern a bit because the material for this, for example, is not going to be the same. So that is a little 
concerned. This is actually a stretchy material. I think I would be better off with like a little bit more of a stiff cotton or something. It's fine. So for this side, it, it looks pretty good. So that's the back looking good. I think it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just being a perfectionist, but I feel like the fit is actually really good. You know what? Actually, it just occurred to me if I added seam allowance, then this doesn't go to the blue line. This needs to go above the blue line, slightly above. And that should fill it out. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. Okay, now it's perfect. It's just because I had it lined up wrong. Okay, hello, Stephanie. That means the back needs to be lined up differently. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing ever. I keep forgetting about the seam allowance. Doing great, aren't I? There we go. Much better. I mean, it looks way more flesh to the skin. Not that any body is like as perfect as this dress form where it's like perfectly firm. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm like really excited. So now next I need to make the same thing, but for the liner. I don't know what fabric I'll use for the liner. Okay, now I'm actually going to sew down. It's kind of a decorative choice, but I'm going to sew down along the side just like that. I'm actually surprised at how well that came out because normally I suck. Baby duty. <laughs> What's wrong, tiny man? You need something. Are you hungry? Baby's good. I'm back in the sewing room, but it's time for some lunch. Basic girl, I made chicken, cheese, and mayo, and bread. I was trying to figure out, I can't get over how like crazy and thrashed I look. Anyway, what kind of liner? And I thought, why not just use the same floral that I'm gonna use underneath the skirt? And I decided to go with this one. I don't know, I'm all about these floral bed sheets, but what's nice is that I'm pretty sure Goodwill will always have something like this in stock, because I feel like they're always there. I wouldn't want it as a bed sheet. It kind of just looks like old, outdated, like grandma-like, but yet for a dress, it changes just everything. So I have all the liner pieces cut out to the pattern and now I'm gonna sew them together. However, I need to pause and go clean. We sell in our house um, hopefully by January or February next year. All right, so after a somewhat setback because I had to run some errands to find some things at the store that I wanted um, in case it helps me tonight and then I found a couple extra things. The baby has been having a difficult evening so I've been helping my husband who was technically the one who's gonna be watching him but but he's been extra fussy or the baby has not the husband maybe the husband let's show you what i got i went to goodwill joann's and walmart i only got one thing at joann's which is this i've been wanting to get it for a while now and instead of using foam paper as i have been for the bustier type of stop tops i cannot speak finally got some it was on sale i'm a cheapie at goodwill i checked their fabrics i got this corduroy material here and it's red as you can see i actually thought it looked pretty cool as like a bustier type of top and i really wanted to start making those with corset backings with grommets and everything i feel like that would be very sellable if i can just master it because i would love to sell that someday another thing i found at goodwill that happened to have the thread color i needed which is right there i wanted like a burgundy in case i run out good deal too only three dollars for all of this i got two sweaters for my baby walmart's haul was a lot of little things i got some containers to hold more stuff because i tend to have a lot of stuff i got these little 50 cent containers oh, let's just hurry up here so i got a zipper for the dress i'm working on now perfect color grommets i finally got needles I got a little bit more of these because they're like really cheap. Literally, they're so nice because they lay flat. I love it. I got a little bit more, so I had enough. And then I got some bobbin holders. I did manage to get two whites left, serge or thread. That's it. That's my haul. Let's get back to the dress. So that is what I decided as the liner, just because it's pretty. Why not? You can kind of get an idea too when this part will be included with the skirt. Hopefully my vision is what I think it is and comes to life pretty well. But now next I'm going to add some straps to it. It's almost done. Well, the bodice is almost done. It's going to be a pretty simple bodice. I think I might still add a trim, so we'll see. <laughs> Excuse the incredibly messy workspace. This is kind of what I've come up with. 
so far. This was the length I cut out originally. I was like, that's way too long. I wanted it shorter. I was just trying to do extra in case I messed up, but I realized it was way too long. I did a shorter one, which should be the right height even after hemming. And then I'm thinking of doing either box pleats or just regular pleats. I have a couple of box ones right here. And then it's kind of messed up in the back. As for the top, I had the straps, tried them out, and it just wasn't biting. So I ended up seam ripping them out and I haven't decided on the alternative yet. But this is kind of the idea I had, only I don't want it to be just a straight open here. I kind of wanted the red to meet in the middle like that. So I might have to adjust these pleats and see if I can just get it to go meet in the middle. I don't know, I need to go check on the baby. So I kind of like assembled it a different way with one of these pieces of skirts. I folded it in so that it falls to the side like that at an angle and then underneath you can see clearly the floral. I feel like that's more of what I drew in the picture. The only thing that I'm feeling now is that this is the only floral you see and the rest of it's not. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a good place for me to incorporate. I did think about trims and things. Earlier I had put something up here and I just thought it was way too much going on. So the underneath here is white so I'm looking for like a white option here. Ooh I didn't remember I had this. That's really pretty. I don't even know what I would use it for. Probably on something white. Anyway, okay that one's really cute but it's not what I'm looking for. There's a more simple one. So I was thinking okay since it's white down here perhaps we can put like I was thinking of a trim on top. I don't know if I still want to do that or not. Plus I didn't sew it in so I'd have to sew it later. That could be cute. I think what was my problem is is that I need to see this part closed in. Like literally I'm just post-pregnancy. I got the worst acne ever and I cannot not keep up with my eyebrows so we're gonna just let let me look like a mom right now <laughs> no offense to moms <laughs> as i try to get my hair to do something like not so crazy looking i ironed these skirts out there's two panels here we are going to first attach them together i have the bodice with me when i get to the area that it like comes like that like i showed earlier i'm actually going to have it folded folded enough that it folds inwards more and so instead of being straight down like that it's it's going to be slanted such as that instead of that. You get what I'm saying? You don't get what I'm saying. Anyway, I decided that I'm just going to do regular pleats. Here goes. <laughs> So I messed up when I was working on the skirt and I had sewn this to the side. I just recently cut it off and I'm actually gonna serge these edges here. And when it goes on to the front part, it's just gonna go all the way across like that. And the red is just gonna cover it. As opposed to when I connected them, I was folding this in with the red part over it, creating that open thing. And it just was very bulky in that one spot. And the rest of the skirt was like a normal flare. And then that part was like really chunky anyway. So we're gonna fix that. That's my solution. So I'm gonna surge this right now. Also, it's my time of the month, so I got chocolate. And I don't know if you've heard of this kind, but it's pretty good because first of all, peanut butter cups are my favorite. But second of all, in the middle, it's already peanut butter. So just adding the peanuts gives it texture. And I just really like the crunch. Let's get back to work. Let's fix our issues. I'm like this close to making it a strapless dress. I'm still trying to decide before I decide to just close it up. I need to know ahead of time so that I can either close the hole I created on the part I thought the straps would be and over trying to decide what I want to do. <laughs> I am just so bad at the straps. I just can't believe how bad I was at lining it up. If I do strapless though, I knew that the best thing to do would be to add some boning in it so that I can hold its form. I might have to do like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't actually know where I would want the boning at. I think it looks nice either way without straps. I might just do a strapless just for the sake of me trying to breathe. Okay, let's search this. Okay, we got to a pretty decent spot in the dress. I have to do some, some final touch-ups and figure out how I'm gonna hide that. Here's the dress, not obviously zipped or on the dress form, but it opens up. It kind of looks funny about the dress form, but that's kind of the vibe I was going for, that it opens up and then there's that ruffle underneath. The back is raw right now. Because I didn't do straps, because I was frustrated by them, I ended up changing my mind, but I decided to use this kind of material and I wanted to do one on the front and one on the back, and then you can tie them at the shoulder because I love that look, one of my favorites. I made four of these and now I'm going to turn them inside out. I just surged them together. <sighs> Almost there.
Okay, so the dress is like pretty much almost exactly done. I don't know why I worded it like that. Also, like, look what's going on back there. Hi! It's just like a whole bunch of random stuff. They're gonna be moving, so yeah, a lot of random stuff got put in here. But that is the dress, and the only thing that I want to do next, besides hemming it, putting a zipper, and strap, put those straps on or whatever, which is like all easy stuff. I just went to bed last night, but I want to go on a shoot and have someone wear it. Been looking and trying to find some size 4 models to fit into this dress. Pretty stoked about getting it to a point where someone can wear it so i should finish it i just really want to start on a new dress because like i get so excited but i'm like totally in a mood to just dig through all my fabrics under there and start on a new dress i do have the white version of my black dress i made that i got all the material for and i was like really stoked about it i also might have enough material to make a long skirt in the back as opposed to how it was more of like a short one but i had gathered the skirt for that one as much as it's so much easier i don't know if i wanted to change what i did but anyway let's not go off on another dress i will try to i don't know why i say that because you're not gonna listen to it right now by the time this video comes out you'll know whether i photographed and did a video of someone in this dress or not i'm just gonna try really hard to do it so if it, if it pops up after this then i did it if it doesn't then i was too impatient i wanted this video out there and it took forever also just in case i forget when i made this it is november 14th so we'll see how long it takes me to post this video. Mm -hmm. 